Welcome to today's live broadcast at four. Well, nearly, <laughs> nearly four, just over four. Hey, welcome back again. This is Sean Smith um, at the Leadership Zone. We're talking about things that uh, take you to results, no fluff. Here we have results, no fluff. Um, this is not about getting a warm shower. This is about giving you action, 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 where you can take and begin to develop. Today we're talking about limitations. What are the limitations? Are there limitations? Are there limitations that are stopping you from accomplishing what you have set yourself to do as a leader? There are always limitations. There are always um, things that can stop us, can block us, can slow us down. However, you know, whether it's behavior or whether it's perception, but you can overcome them. You can deal with them. Um, there is no limitation that can stop you from accomplishing your dream. Right where you are right now, you need to persist to push through to see your dream and your vision realized, to see your mission fulfilled in your life. You know, one of the limitations that I, that behavioral, behavioral, behavioral um, limitations that I want to talk about today is application. Because what happens is many times, and I, you know, over the years I've spoken to people and one guy said to me, he said, you know, um, they've now concluded that the Lord doesn't want them to run a business because of all the hurdles and all the, the hassles and all the challenges they have. I said, well, welcome to the real world, you know, is that when you have speed bumps on the road, it doesn't mean you stop driving. It means you just have to slow down and make sure that you get through the hurdles. It doesn't indicate anything about your destiny. And more than ever, you know, I was listening to um, uh, Robert Kiyosaki the other day, and, and he was saying that, he said, for, for the financial kind of situation that the world is going into now, the best skill to develop is entrepreneurial leadership. And, and that is really something I... Uh, that I began to see back in the year 2000 already and uh, began to develop myself on how I can encourage. And boy, let me tell you something. I've had the speed bumps. I've had the challenges. I've had, <laughs> I could have given up a hundred times, a million times. In fact, I felt like giving up every day, once a day. But you know what? I've stayed with it because I will not abdicate what my mission is. I will not stop and quit. In fact, you know, do you know that one limiting behavior can hold you back from your best potential and the greatest results? It's, you know, just keep going. Abdication means to fail to fulfill or undertake a responsibility or duty. And generally, you know, when we abdicate our role, we begin to blame others and make excuses. When you give up, when you quit. Thanks, Janine. I will keep going. Um, leadership means responsibility. Responsibility. The ability to respond in every situation positively. It's not blaming others around you, blaming things, making excuses. No, it, it means that you take response ability. You take up the ability to respond in the situation uh, properly with, you know, is upskilling yourself, becoming more competent, becoming more focused, more positive. Just begin to focus. I think that, 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 that I was reading earlier is that a pessimist says, here comes the storm, you know, we better stop everything. The optimist says, well, the storm will change, but the leader sets and trims his sails to fl to fly through the storm, and that's what leadership is about. It's um, you know, it's about it's about the outcome. Leadership is about going for an outcome. It's you won't quit until you reach your ab outcome. You will not abdicate your place until you reach your outcome. It, so you pick yourself up. You resolve to get a grip on things, and you 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 say to yourself, "Listen, I'm going to push." through to see the outcome. I'm going to push through. Now, it could be in one facet of your business. 
It, it could be that you're relaunching something or that you're launching something new. You know, is you've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe and take responsibility. Um, otherwise, you leave the team in the lurch. You leave your family in the lurch. You leave yourself in the lurch. You resign, you abandon, you blame. But instead, you need to continue, you need to remain, and you need to assert yourself. Now's the time to ask for ownership. Ask people to be on, on board. Deal with the difficult situation and be visible. That's the thing with leaders. Oftentimes when they're facing a crisis or facing difficulty, they become invisible. They disappear off the scene. Stay visible. Stay present. Be the leader. Take responsibility. Um, someone said, if you don't abdicate, the pressure will take you into realization. That's exactly what I'm saying. When, if you don't abdicate and you allow the pressure to form you and you stay with it and you say, listen, I'm going to push through, I'm telling you is that you begin to realize your vision. You'll begin to live out your mission. That's what it takes. The moment you take re responsibility for everything in your life, is the moment you can change anything in your life. The moment you take responsibility for everything in your life or your business in your leadership is the moment you can change anything in your life. And you know, just personally, I had to get to the place after going through a crisis, a major crisis where I seemed to lose all sense of purpose. And listen, I became invisible. I felt like I abdicated. I just did not know what to do. If I'd known what I know now, I, it would have been a totally different situation. I would have asserted myself. I did not know how. And so what I did was, I, you know, I began to blame. I blamed myself. I blamed my family. I blamed not my family, but I blamed the, the, the wider field, my friends. I blamed, you know, people. I blamed everything going on around me. But the moment I took responsibility for my decisions and I owned my decisions and choices was the moment that I could begin to change my environment. I could change me and I could change where I was going. I could change what I was going to do because I took responsibility. You cannot escape the responsibility of tomorrow. And as a leader, that's what you have. You have responsibility for the tomorrow. You cannot um, um, escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading your today. Face what you have to do today. A big problem with uh, many leaders is and in, in many management, uh, just when things get tough, dads, Moms sometimes, they abdicate. Don't abdicate. Take responsibility. Leadership is about taking responsibility, not making excuses. As a leader, you don't, it's not about your position. It's about you having responsibility to bring out the best in others. Remember, leadership is about others. So your leadership is about taking responsibility to lead others somewhere, to be a leader in your field, to be a leader that meets a need. You cannot, and that's what I was, you know, is I taught my, my, my sons from early already. You cannot ever say, I can't do this. I don't have a solution. I don't know what to do. Find a solution because the person that finds the solution gets paid the money, becomes valuable, becomes indispensable when you have a solution and that's what you have to do is find the solution take responsibility in the midst of storms and you become the person that everybody calls on at the right time there's always a solution exactly right so leadership starts with responsibility not a crown not a position not a not a um <laughs> Thank you, Ray. <laughs> so um, um, leadership starts with responsibility, not a crown, not your ability, but the taking responsibility in the midst of everything. You can take responsibility. Do not 
abdicate. Remember this, accountability is responsibility. So the way to be responsible is become accountable. Let somebody walk with you. Find somebody to journey with you. Get involved in a place where they will hold you accountable. And that's why I started the, uh, the Leadership Mentoring Mastermind Group. Is so that, you know, you've got a place that you don't have to travel alone and you can find the accountability. You can say, this is what I'm busy with. And people can get on board. You can get other people's expertise, insights, opinions, you know, uh, uh, guidance, experience, etc., skill. Uh, and that's what, really why I wanted to form the mastermind, you know, because then people can get on. That's one of the things that I do is I journey with the leaders to, not to tell them how to do their job, not to tell them what they need to do and how they need to run themselves. What all I do is I, I facilitate their journey in growth, in, in processing what they have to do to get through the, the, the transformation, the processes, um, the difficulties, the crises sometimes, and come out the other side whole. I've been there when there was no Sean. <laughs> you know, I've been there when there was nobody for me and I had to get through and it took me longer. Now I want to be the Sean that I didn't have for you or for the, a leader. So that's what I want to share with you today. Don't abdicate. Don't abdicate your leadership. Take responsibility. Take responsibility of you, of your mission, of your vision, and keep tracking, baby. Keep going. Don't resign. Don't quit. Don't give up. Keep moving because you can realize your vision and see your mission fulfilled in this life. You do have one. Nobody is without a mission. Nobody was, is without a vision. You just need to take time to fulfill it. You just need to take time to find it. You just need to take time to, to uh, fundamentally fashion it out so that you begin to move in the right direction. You are a leader and you are in the right place for no fluff, results only. Until tomorrow, 4 o'clock, thank you for being with me. Really great to have um, some, some great people with me. And uh, love you guys lots and see you in the morrow at 4 p.m. Cheers, everyone.